Hi everyone, this is Karen. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to fix the problem of opening SVG files. This isn't going to be the most exciting video, but I constantly see people asking about this, so I know it's a problem a lot of people are having. Keep watching to learn how to open your files with whatever program you're using. I will also explain why this happens and how you can fix it if you want to go that far. Before I go any further, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for your support. So the first thing you want to do if you're on a Windows system is make sure that your file extensions are displayed. You can see over here that there are no file extensions here. For example, on this zipped file, you should see .zip at the end. If I double click this folder, uh, let's see this one. This one has an extension, but these don't. They should all display file extensions because this one is actually an, um, an SVG file but you can see the Edge um, browser icon over here on the left and it says Microsoft Edge HTML document over here on the right, but it's actually an SVG file. And at least when you have your extensions displaying, you'll know that. So to change that, click the View tab over here, then click the Options icon click view in the middle over here and come down here to where it says hide extensions for known file types. Microsoft enables this by default and you want to disable this. You want to clear that checkbox, click apply and watch right over here. As soon as I click apply, those extensions are going to be displayed. Apply, And then you see that they're displayed over here and I click OK. And this is now the default your file extensions will always be displayed. So this is the most important part to tell you what type of a file it is. When it says .svg at the end, it is an SVG file. The reason it displays this icon and it says HTML document over here is because of the program that's associated with this file type for opening it. So in this case, what's happening is the type of program that will open this file is your browser. I'm going to right click and display the properties. You'll see over here that it says type of file Microsoft Edge HTML document and it is opened with Microsoft Edge. So that means that anytime you double click that file Microsoft Edge will open your file and you won't be able to do anything with it. You won't be able to bring that into your program. The way to bring it into your program is to start your program and do it from there. But first I'm going to show you how to change this behavior. All you need to do is click change over here and choose another file type. Now you see it could be Google Chrome that's displayed, that's chosen. And in that case, you'll see the Chrome icon beside your file. It can be Internet Explorer or it could be other apps. So you might notice that I have Windows installed on my Mac here and that's why you see Mac icons at the bottom and some different kinds of icons at the top. So I don't actually have a program for running cutting files on my Windows PC, but I can still show you what you need to do to change how this works. All you need to do is right click on the file you want to open, click properties. You'll see here that this file will be opened with Microsoft Edge and that's what you want to change. So click the change button and then just change this to an app that you have that you can use to work with your SVG files. Um, let's say, for example, if I had Inkscape installed on this computer, I'd be able to choose that. And then from then on, my files would be opened with Inkscape and you would see the Inkscape icon beside the file name. So that's all there is for doing that. On a Mac, it's a little bit different because everything looks okay, but it actually isn't okay. You can see here I have the same file highlighted. It says SVG. You can see the SVG preview. But if I right click the file and display open with, it says Google Chrome because I did that before starting my video so you would see what it looks like. So the same thing here to fix this problem, right click the file name click open with, then click other 
down at the bottom here and choose the program you want to use to open your SVG files. So I have a lot more programs on my Mac for opening SVG files. I could choose, let's see here, um, I can choose Illustrator and usually that is what I do. I can choose shortcuts a lot. I believe I might have Inkscape installed on here. Um, no, I don't. Where am I? Shortcuts a lot I could use. And what you do then is you, if it's in a folder, make sure you click the folder and then you actually click the app. It will have .app at the end of it. That's the actual program. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to choose Adobe Illustrator because that's what I always use for my SVG files. So I have highlighted Adobe Illustrator here. Now I need to choose the Adobe Illustrator app file. As I said, it has .app at the end. And at the bottom of the screen over here, I'm going to check the always open with box to make this a permanent change. Now I'm going to click open. It will start Adobe Illustrator, as you can see at the bottom down over here. And in the future, it will always open with Adobe Illustrator. Silhouette Studio and Cricut Design Space are different. You cannot choose those as the default programs for opening your SVG files. Silhouette Studio and Cricut Design Space were specifically developed by their companies with their own native file types. Okay, so when I right click and I choose open with, you can see that it displays all of the programs that I would be able to use or that I would be able to choose to be the default program for opening these files. If I click other and I scroll down to where I have Silhouette Studio right here, it is grayed out. I cannot choose it. Okay, Cricut Design Space as well. When you scroll to find it, you can find it here, but it's grayed out. You cannot choose it as the app for opening SVG files. So changing that default setting only works if you use another program to open SVG files other than Silhouette Studio or Cricut Design Space. If you use Illustrator, if you use Affinity Designer, um, Inkscape, then it's fine. Change the association and it will always be fine. As it's impossible to do that for Silhouette Studio or Cricut Design Space, you have to do something different. You have to start the program and from the program itself, click File, Open, and then go find your file. So mine are in my external hard drive under digital cutting files. This was under Easter. Doo -doo -doo. Here we go. I think it's this one, right? So follow the bunny. There's my SVG file. I click it, then I click OK. And there's my file. Same thing on the Windows side, you'd have to do the same thing. So for Cricut Design Space, it's the same thing. Start your program. Design Space, I'm going to start a new project. I'm going to click the Upload button on the left. Then I'll click Upload Image. And then I will browse. And I'll go to where I have the file on my external hard drive. It's in Digital Cutting Files under Easter. Here's my file. Need to do is click Open. Then I click Upload. I'm going to select my file and then I'll click to add it to my canvas. And there's my file. Some programs, like Shortcuts A Lot, require you to import the file instead of opening it. That's because when you choose the File Open command in Shortcuts A Lot, it will open its native file type. I'll show you what I mean. When you click File and then Open, it will open a Shortcuts A Lot project. And I actually have those in my documents under Craft Edge, um, under My Projects. 
and these are files with an SCUT extension and a number after it for the for, or for the version that the file was created in. So in Shortcuts Allow, what you need to do is choose File, Import for SVG Files. And you can see, you can choose all readable files. These are all the different file types that Shortcuts Allow can open. I'm going to leave it at, as all readable files. I will go to the folder that I have this in. Um, so this is in Digital Cutting Files. I need to find Easter again and my bundle and then follow the bunny and then SVG and then I can open this and there's my file. I hope this has all been helpful to you. If you have any questions about this or anything else I could help you with, leave them in the comments below. I also wrote a blog post about this which has more detail and all the instructions are there in written format as well as links to this video. I hope all of this has been helpful to you. Thanks so much for watching.